Hello everyone, Mike49324 here, and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube, and welcome back to the Zack Slaughter, my player series here at MLB, uh, NBA 2K12. He is back with, he is back with, he is back as he just got drafted 17th overall by the New York Knickerbockers from, from Central Michigan. Not from Detroit, Michigan. Boy, it would have been nice if he got drafted to Detroit. But instead, he's a Nick. As we take a look at the My Trade options and take a look at this. Teams that are interested in Zack Slaughter are the Los Angeles Lakers and his hometown Detroit Pistons. How about that? But in the meantime, he will just enjoy his time as a Knickerbocker. So here we go. First game, and it'll be a at the Madison Square Garden against the Miami's big th the big three of the Miami Heat. So here we go. His he gets set. He is in the point guard position, which unfortunately that's being covered by Chauncey Billups. So looks like right now his chances of making the get of making the show this. It's not going to be happening this early, so yeah, you might want to wait there, uh, kid. And it would be an understatement to say that we're glad to have you here for the opening day of the NBA. 2K Sports welcomes you to this special edition with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Hart. Opening night and time for our State Farm lineups. First for the Heat. So there you see Carmelo, and there you see Zach Slaughter continuing to make his push to continuing to make his make this make his way to make his route toward the NBA. Here we go, Zach Slaughter making his first playing first playing time here as the point guard, but he has to guard against Bibby here. Now he has the right to call this building home, and there you see Walker who gives it to Zach Slaughter here. Oh, forgot to change my mind. Thank you very much, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Akeem. Thank you very much, Akeem. And there is, and there is the Zack Slaughter in the Knicks uniform. There you see it, New York, wearing, donning the number, f donning the number f fifteen here. And there is Zach's rookie first rookie mistake. So watch Bibby, and he allowed him to score and to score off the not no score off the turnover. And there's Zach Slaughter misses, and there's Terry Stackhouse, and he. No, oh, that's. Oh, that's Amari. Whoops. Oh, I missed. They're gonna miss and nope, personal foul. Right here. Nope, not quite yet here. And there you see, there you see, uh, there you see Zach Slaughter. He does draw the foul, so he gets the trip to the line. And yes, we know how this works. Serious. 
scary trio for the Eastern Conference to deal with. Too early. So too early, so his teammate grade is on the line here. When you're in New York, you're a, you're a very attractive destination for free agents. And that's why they have gone that route. Uh, rather yep, than you lost a lot of teammate grade. They should have done that right, right from the start here. Though there's the shot to block, and he blocked, tried to block the wing weight, but the game said, sorry, that's a bad, terrible block. Attempt, we're going to have to take some of that teammate grade away. There's the Zach. Makes another mistake, and he lose more of his teammate grade. And the he almost missed it, though. Watch this. Yeah, he barely missed. He almost missed it. That would have been an epic fail. So, barely in a C-minus range. So, he has to be careful here. Well, there it is. So, he helps. That, that, that shot selection did help. Now there you see a good shot defense, so his teammate grade is starting to starting to get. So he gives it to Turaf. Uh, so gives it to gives it to Mello. Mello gives it to Zach Slaughter. Slaughter gives it to Carmelo. And there's there's Slaughter's first assist in the NBA. There's a personal foul. And there you see he is out and he is done for the half as the, the Heat are up by 10. LeBron James leads for the Heat while Tony Douglas leads for the Knicks. No surprise there. Again, not a big surprise. The Wizards over at Verizon Center losing to the Nets. Our game to watch as a fan. And that's it for now. Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Berkers. And the Lakers lost to the Warriors. Lovely. So here we go. Third quarter here as Zach Slaughter still has yet to score his first points in the Here's NBA. Although he is trying. Despite those two turnovers here. And there he is. There is LeBron, and that time he didn't miss the. Almost missed. That time he clearly made it. Well, that's a dunk you will not see very often. You won't pass that one by. No doubt about that. I wish he would, though. You can never see too many of those. And there you see another turnover there. Well, this time Zach's ready, and they're going to stop LeBron. No, he couldn't, but he's going to get a good shot. Not going to get it. Oh, yeah, he does get a good shot defense, though, to stop LeBron. But what do you expect? You're guarding against LeBron here. And there you see, and there's a pass to Amari, and he gets a pass to assist. So he is, they are using the Mike D'Antoni approach here. His pass. No, nope. and there's another good shot defense, and he's back up to a C average. And he gives it to Brown, and for some reason he didn't make the shot, but okay. And here comes LeBron. And he gets a good shot defense without even trying here. So here we go, Zach Slaughter trying to get his first points, loses the ball in the process, and 
So the Knicks do get the ball back, and Spolstra is not happy. So there you see. And there you see another tur a turnover there. And uh oh, can we see something big here? Yes, he does, and he just blocked LeBron. How about that? LeBron is ticked off, and if that's not enough, LeBron, LeBron fouls him for revenge. For revenge rep rep reputation here. So here we go, slightly early, so not quite there. But say, what rookie said in my first game, I blocked LeBron James? Well, here he did. And unfortunately, he's out of a C, back to a C minus again. So here we go, he has to guard Mario Chalmers. So here we go, here's there's Zach Slaughter. Passes it to Amari Stoudemire. Amari misses. Now it's a guard against Dwayne Wade here. And he allowed him to score. Nice job there. So he avoided getting D plus, but now chances are he might he may have to get the D plus at this point. And again he gets blocked. So here we go. So he may be getting no points in this game because what do you expect? You're playing Miami. Give it to Balkman, and he makes the shot. So, so Omer's here. Here we go. And there's a dynamic goal saying, "Bring your gap within 10." So. Well, with the, the only thing he's on the score sheet for is the assist and the blocks. Other than that, nothing. And oh, nope. spoke too soon. Well, he he made a statement earlier because guess what? Uh, he j he blocked LeBron. And he made the last second shot. And just like that, he is back where he was started. Oh, don't you dare drive by. Don't you dare. And now it's time for the advertisement. Of the Lakers in real life. Of the Toronto Raptors in real life. Unless he wants to come to L.A. Which any help would be nice to help the Lakers. So Slaughter is out there. Is out is there you see the stash right now for everybody. For everybody. LeBron and D Wade are leading the team of scoring. While Carmelo leading the team here. And there you see the four turnovers by Slaughter. And one block here. So it's all because he blocked LeBron. Attempt here is Chauncey has been moved to sh is now the point guard as Sachs been moved to point to, to two guard here so as he gives it to Chauncey who's with the Clippers in real life and there you see a nice pass to Williams here as Williams gives it to Billups who misses but at least he doesn't get blamed for another turnover. And, ooh, he almost blocked Chalmers. So here we go. So here we go, Zach Slaughter. As we take a look at his performance, as you can see, the matchup still favors Chauncey. 
And no, he fell in another turnover. He would have got him, but they tripped him, so. So, sucks to be slaughtered right now. He has five turnovers in his rookie debut. But, however, he, he, can, he can say he blocked LeBron. And that was that. That was really terrible, but he almost took the shot again here. So, nearly at a C average now. Gives it to Turrup, and there's the assist. To keep him at a C my keep him at a C average. Here we go, Dwayne Wade. And he he, he barely missed out on that and he well, you know, a number of guys have used yoga not just from a physical standpoint, but from a mental and emotional. And he made a back off for a pass, and he's probably gonna pay for it right here with a turnover. Include flexibility, strength, balance, all nope, he gives it to Turaf, and he gives it, he he fouls them. That pass to a foul here. So here we go. There you see the next stats right there. So there you see right there. And there's as Zach Slaughter is now starting to get on a roll here as he completes yet another milestone here. And there's a timeout. As Bosch is out there, so we have so Zach has to be careful. Chris Bosch has checked in for Miami. And he's blocked, and the teammate raid, down it goes. So here we go, Bibby. Yeah, and there we go. Can he block Anthony? Nope. Instead, he gets he commits a foul. His first foul in the NBA. Nice job. So Zach Slaughter is fitting into the D'Antoni offense. There you see it. Look out. And there's a foul right there. As Damper gets it in there. Seriously, bad block attempt. And here's Bibby. He bounces it in off the front of the iron. And that ought to do it. That should seal the deal. 
Yep, I agree. Closing it out was rough. And there's the Zach Slaughter. Slaughter who gives it to Turaf. Gives it to Carmelo Anthony. Misses. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, leave assignment. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. And he allowed him to score. And the, the game saying, ha ha, we're going. Uh, well, you're really close, but we're going to have to take your teammate right away. Yeah, those five turnovers from the, the rookie definitely cost him. But at least he learned some experience here in the NBA as the Heat beat the Knicks 66-47. Now because of that C-, minus, well, let's just say he lost a lot of skill points. So as there you see his stats, 3 for 10, 5 turnovers, those 5 turnovers co cost the New York Knicks. So now it is time for the press conference. The first one of the Zack Slaughter era in New York. You've just played your first official NBA game. Did things go as you expected? set expectations for myself you're only setting yourself up for failure when you do I just go out there and play hard and do what coach tells me to do and hopefully that leads to good things today was only a small part anyway I'd like to think I have a lot more games to come in this league uh, you gotta set expectations otherwise um, well you're gonna end up one of the worst players in NBA history so that's the end of his debut. We're gonna do one because of that. Uh, we're gonna do one game per episode unless Zach is as. There you see the message from Jordan here. Okay, saving, saving, quit saving, quit saving, quit saving. Yada yada yada. So as we take a look at the my trades, as you can see, the Lakers and Pistons are still interested. No, he's not demanding a trade. The my buzz, as you can see, league-wide popularity. He is not that popular. The fans, the trending. Right now, as we take a walk here at the rotation, as you can see, Zach Slaughter is the seventh. So he had he already allocated 240 minutes. He has no minutes remaining here. So I think this should just about wrap it up. Come back next time as he takes on the New Jersey Nets, which in real life they're now the Brooklyn Nets. And also, by the way, some breaking news. Well. Looks like the Sacramento Kings will be staying in Sacramento after all because the NBA said because the NBA says sorry Seattle but you're going to have to wait a little while. So Seattle, I'm with you. That was outrageous NBA. Great job screwing Seattle yet again.